why, why are they so poor? Nigeria is a rich country that looking so poor. You feel me? What's the reason? Well, that one will be part two. Now, um, let me give you people a little bit of um, tips and information. Uh, what's going on? You feel me? Um, let me repeat it again. This video is about Nigeria, you know. So don't be annoyed, don't be upset if I didn't mention anything about whatever, whatever that you want me to mention. But today I'm general in terms of my topic. Um, as every Nigerian can remember, um, during former government, uh, Buhari, I'm not against you. <laughs> I'm only trying to enlighten my people to feel what I'm, feel, I'm seeing and... Uh, uh, um, you know, we are Nigerians. I think uh, freedom of speech will give us the power to be able to say whatever we would like to say. Um, as all of us can remember, Buhari was once a military president of Nigeria. And that time, everybody really read the news, know something about um, um, Q. You know, Buhari was overthrown and uh, somebody else, IBB took over and whatever and blah, blah, blah. So, but uh, people didn't ask uh, who overthrew uh, Buhari by that time, you feel me? And uh, why did the government of Buhari was overthrown? Because uh, there are forces, powers behind the uh, military um, 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 that overthrew him by that time. Um, outside forces helped them to do it. So, what happened is this. Um, by that time, Buhari was a little bit good. Um, he was a little bit patriotic, uh, loving person. He loved his country by then. Um, the thing that uh, triggered the, the overthrow of uh, Buhari by then was IMF, International Monetary Fund, you know. Because uh, Buhari was working against IMF getting into Nigeria, you know. If when a country falls into IMF's hand, your economy will be in trouble. Your economy will, will, won't, even, won't even be able to grow. You feel me? So, Buhari was against it. He, will, he has a dream for Nigeria to be a great nation. You feel me? Um, so, the IMF, the Americans and the British, you know, and other Western countries are the controllers, are the owners of IMF. You borrow from them and you pay with your resources. You don't pay that money cash back. You feel me? And uh, your resources will be devalued. Everything will be devalued to their own um, convenience, to something that will, um, the way it will suit them, you know, in terms of business, you feel me? So uh, Buhari doesn't like that idea, doesn't like that uh, framework. You know, he started working against it. So now IMF is the, uh, the worst person or the worst entity you can rise up against, to, you know. They will destroy you. They will, no matter whoever you are, they will cripple you, you know. So they now pick up IBB, <laughs> give him all the lectures with CIA and everything, and they kick uh, Buhari out. They didn't kill him, you know. They just kick him out, warn him, you know. Because the emirs, they have met the emirs and asked them to talk to Buhari by that time to ask him to step aside. He refused. So that's why IBB came in. So that was bygone. I, I'm just telling you this thing for, for you to flow into the new... G's that just came in, you know, from the government house. So, after that one is gone, now, Buhari want to come back again by the um, support of uh, Obasanjo and the oligarchs of Nigeria. When I mention oligarchs, they are the criminal business group that are controlling Nigerian government and Nigerian resources, you feel me? They're called oligarchs. Do you have them in Russia? you have them in America? So, um, the time that Buhari, before the election, you feel me, and uh, Jonathan started working against IMF in Nigeria because he loved his nation, you know, with uh, Koji Wala telling him that uh, if you love this country, if you want Nigeria to grow, never you borrow from IMF. They will give you the cheapest loan. Don't take it, you know. When you fall in, you won't grow again. So Jonathan um, followed um, um, Koji Wala, you know, <laughs> and uh, was working against IMF and uh, thinking that uh, the, the, the people behind him will be able to support him so that Nigeria will be able to see light tomorrow. Um, so Yorubas, I won't say that I'm, I'm not insulting you people, but um, 
uh, it's a pity that uh, Yorubas always betray any good plan in Nigeria. You know, they betray those things and uh, they are easy to buy. Yorubas, I don't know why you guys are too flexible in terms of uh, white men. You know, Obasanjo and his group, both the former governor of Lagos State, Tunumbu, you know, they started working with IMF and uh, pushing Jonathan to, to step down, you know. So, along the line, um, Jonathan was resisting. If you can remember, there was a time they said that Nkoji, Okonji Wala should resign, you know. Uh, the IMF was triggering, lobbying on behalf of uh, their interests in Nigeria. So, the Eurobars were pushing very tough, you know, for Okonji Wala to step out because she, they are seen as the blocking stone that is giving um, um, uh, Jonathan all the whole necessary tapes to dodge every trap being set for him. So along the line, my people of Nigeria, the IMF now called in Obasanjo and his group and other house groups, and uh, they have an indoor meeting discussing on how to um, keep business moving, you feel me? Because these guys, Obasanjo and his group and other Arawa um, entities, bought shares they have a very large shares in an uh, imf uh, organization you know so whatever imf is doing even though it's harming nigerian economy some oligarchs in nigeria are making billions and trillions you feel me okay good now jonathan is being pushed out and before jonathan will go out they know that they must only get him out you know by power no matter what he must go out so Along the line, if you can remember when um, 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 Buhari was traveling to Britain, this is internal news that just came in, you know, it's, it's tips, information. So, <clears throat> the time that Buhari was traveling to England uh, be before the election, they were having secret door meetings, you know, um, the, opening his old file, telling him what he did, the cause of what he did during the military regime, how we work against the 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 the, the um, 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 IMF, you know, so <clears throat> along the line, um, 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 he now swear uh, alleged to to the IMF that uh, he will protect the IMF interests inside Nigeria. You know, you know, we are shouting that Nigerian economy is crippling, that things are not moving. This one is that, that one is that. Like my former video, you know, big companies are leaving Nigeria, you know, <laughs> but uh, the big entities are making billions out of Nigeria. You know, they say that uh, when war breaks out, you know, money is being making because war generates money. And when Rao and hunger is falling to a nation, a big entity starts generating big funds, you know. That's why you see big uh, rich people get richer and um, poor people get poorer and die off. So, <clears throat> where am I now? Now, um, Buhari now swear that he will protect the interests of those um, IMF people in Nigeria. The election that put Buhari as a Nigerian president wasn't what me and you voted, you know. It has been already pre-decided and uh, the call on the Jonathan to accept whatever that is going on. If you can um, think back a little bit, you will be able to remember there have been no problem in Nigerian election and the Buhari and Jonathan went and signed peace accord, if you can remember. That is all those things. They call it peace accord, but it's not peace accord. It's a legit agreement that Jonathan must accept whatever that come out that he is going, period. Which he accepted. Now Jonathan is gone. Uh, Buhari is in. Started crippling Nigerian economy as he promised to do. He is doing all these things purposely. He is blocking everything that will bring success into Nigeria. Nigeria have never started seeing the impact of this problem, you feel me? And now, he's now selling a very powerful news to you people that Nigerian economy is in jeopardy, that uh, there is a very big problem, oil um, price is down, that um, they have no other alternative that to go and borrow money from IMF. You see where I'm coming? They have to go to IMF to borrow money. Good. Um, but there is other somebody that just came out that said, um, uh, Dangote. Dangote came out and uh, tried to kick against those things. Dangote said that instead of you to go to IMF to borrow money, you may sell our euro bond, you know, and we will be able to generate excess fund 
to be able to power the economy. Buhari did not answer or listen to that advice, you know. Now, my people, Nigeria is in a very big mess unless Nigeria stand up and push that man out or else he will sell, he should have already sell Nigeria out of that nation. Um, I have some certain things. Um, our people normally say uh, a great leader builds a great nation, you know. During the time of Jonathan, I can remember when he's trying to issue out um, 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 mining certificates to any company that are willing to mine in Nigeria. And that thing was a very powerful idea, if you ask me, you know, because um, uh, uh, he's trying to pull the Nigerian economy out of oil, you know, and, and made it uh, liberal, that uh, nobody can be able to, to trap Nigeria so hard or trample on Nigeria so hard because you can't block everything that Nigeria has as a resources, you feel me? Uh, which he tried to do, and uh, he tried to um, issue those licenses, which I myself I, 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 I applied, you know. Because I don't have a company in Nigeria, so things didn't work out well. But he issued some other companies. And the uh, house has started uh, um, pouring deadly, deadly chemicals in that area. And those chemicals now revoked, started killing them, you know. They now said that the license Jonathan is giving out, the type of chemical these guys are using to mine this gold are killing people. CNN carried the whole thing. CNN helped the house to sell the whole news. CNN and BBC, you feel me? Now, let me tell you something. If at all Nigeria thinks like Jonathan, the way he sees things, you know, in terms of moving our economy out of oil, every country today try to move the econ economy out of oil, but they have limited resources to do that. But Nigeria is in a position like Congo, you know, to do anything he wants to do in terms of moving our resources. Let me mention the resources that we have in Nigeria. Please listen and take note. Let me start from Abuja. Abuja, Nigeria, has seven different types of mineral resources, including gold. Good. Abia State has five mineral resources plus oil, crude oil. Adamawa has four resources. Aqua Ebom has six resources plus salt and uranium. Anambra State has ten mineral resources plus salt and crude oil. Bayasa had seven mineral resources plus uranium. Uranium is a very powerful resource that every nation is looking for today. Bauchi has four resources plus uranium. Benue has 10 resources plum, plus limestone. Boronu has 8 resources plus crude oil and gas. Cross River has 7 resources plus uranium and zinc plus salt and crude oil. Thank you. Delta State has 6 mineral resources plus glass sand, the sand they use to produce glasses. Ebony has 3 mineral resources plus gold um gold um, sh um they call it shocked you know there's a different type of gold gold shocked and salt edo has 11 mineral resources plus gold and crude oil equity state has five mineral resources plus titanium enugu state has three resources plus gold um cold sorry please code i mean gombe has two mineral resources one minute imo state has eight mineral resources plus oil salt limestone and zinc jigawa has one listen to me very well now kaduna has 19 mineral resources one of the best gold, plus one of the best gold in the world, plus cloth rock, plus rock crystals, plus gemstone, plus um, aquamarium. All those things are very powerful mineral resources in Nigeria. Kanu has seven mineral resources, plus copper and zinc. 
Castina has three mineral resources plus salt. Germans are exporting salt all over the world and making hell of money. Nigeria has a lot of salt and gold. Um, KB has one mineral resources plus gold. Kogi has nine mineral resources. Kwara has eight mineral resources plus gold. Count how many golds that have been involved now. Lagos State has four mineral resources plus clay. Nasarawa has 23 mineral resources plus salt. Ninja has three mineral resources plus gold. Ogun has seven mineral resources. Ogun State. Ondo has 12 mineral resources plus oil. I mean crude oil. Oshun has 7 mineral resources. Uyo has 11 mineral resources plus gold. Plateau has 21 mineral resources plus best gold and other stones that are precious. River has 5 mineral resources plus crude oil. Sokoto has 13 mineral resources plus best gold and normal gold in the world. Taraba has two mineral resources. Yobe has two mineral resources plus soda ash. Zamfara has three mineral resources with the best gold in the world. <laughs> and what is the leading mineral resources in Nigeria today? It's only crude. My people, this thing is like a curse. If you check the whole resources that I mentioned, it's the most wanted mineral resources like crude oil in the world. And what are our leaders doing? Buhari keep on telling us that the, 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 the crude oil price is going down. That's why Nigerians are suffering today. Yes, Nigerians are suffering. But why can't we do like the plan or pick the plans that Jonathan has for Nigerians in terms of moving Nigerian economy out of oil and place it in all these almost how many mineral resources that Nigeria has? You feel me? Only Plateau has 21. Sokoto has 13. Ondo has 12. Uyo has 11. You feel me? Mention it. Benue has 10. Anambra has 10. You know? Edo has 11. Only these few states now can be able to power Nigeria economy to the highest level. But our leader, these guys, does nothing only to protect the entities that cripple the Nigeria economy and making other ordinary people on the street to suffer. Now, the latest... Um, 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 news now is um, um, change begin by me. Why should that change begin by Nigerians that have been suffering since since colonial? Why should they start change? Why can't the leader that preach change to these guys that keep on copying people's speech do something? You keep on complaining that uh, Jonathan did nothing. He lived nothing in the past during the time of Obasanjo. The time Obasanjo entered into power, Obasanjo made $7.5 billion in Nigerian ports. But today, Jonathan left $35.8 billion for Buhari. Check the gap. Obasanjo did not complain to Nigerians for one day. He moved on, fighting and building the economy and making Nigeria great once again. You feel me? Now, Jonathan left with 35 point something billion and this guy came in and comp what do you expect to see into Nigerian pulse? 600 billion or, or how many billion? Nigeria is only maintaining on one resources, crude oil. And if the houses allow Jonathan to pursue his dream in terms of moving our economy out of oil, today I don't think that this guy will be complaining. Or talking about our economy, he started this game with the Igbos. You know, he tried to cripple the economy of the Igbos. Everything that the Igbos are doing, Eurobars, as a as Buhari take over, Eurobars cripple everywhere that Igbos are doing business in Lagos. Somebody just wake up going to his business or 
his marketplace only to find it bulldozed. Everything was destroyed without any information, without any letting your city, you treat your citizen as if they are foreigners. They are as if they are immigrants that just enter the country and, and, and destroying the system that have been already established. You know, where Igbos are doing business, before you tamper with your people life lies, you are people that you love, you are citizens, you are fellow neighbors, you are fellow countrymen. You inform them, let them know, my people, please, I'm give, going to give you people one year for you to look for a new place, move your goods over there and start new because we got to cripple this place for one reason or the other. Keep on notice, noticing them, mount um, um, flyers, let them know, remind to them, you didn't do such thing. Only that the people just close their market this night, go home, coming back tomorrow, everywhere is, everything is destroyed. Nigeria, are you for real? You, we are asking the Igbos that they should not bring problem into Nigeria. They should not pull out of Nigeria. They should not do this. But you guys are treating the Igbos like immigrants into the nation. Why they are the, they are the heart of Nigeria. You know? Even the British that joined Nigeria together did not ask the, the mind and the will of the Eastern region if they want to be part of Nigeria. Being part of Nigeria was forced on Igbos. Read the history. Go and research it. Igbos have never ever accepted to be under that union called Nigeria. You feel me? Now, you, you force them with the British to, 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 to be part of you, to be great and be whatever. And now the Igbos have be, built their economy and you're now thinking that they are nothing. Our people normally speak in Igbo language. You feel me? Are you joking? If you kill all Igbos, destroy whatever they are doing in Nigeria, is your problem gone? I don't think so. I believe that your trouble will be double. Why don't you love your fellow brothers? You know? Somebody like me now who was talking on Facebook, maybe if I go to Nigeria tomorrow, the same man will pick me up and lock me up because I mentioned his name on Facebook. You feel me? These things are free of speech. People will be going rally on the street. I went to Nigeria. I go to I I, I went to Aba. I saw Igbos moving around, uh, shouting because of the governors that the APC want to press out. They don't want him. They voted him. The APC want their own man there. Quit the citizens of the state refused. What did Nigeria do? Nigeria has place. They didn't send any police to that place. They sent military. Are we in war? Are we fighting? Are we fighting? They sent military. And before I went to where I'm going, coming back, seven guys have already fallen. And you ask them to relax. If you kill my brother tomorrow, you ask me to relax, fold my arms and say, Mr. President, Nigeria, my country, God punish your mama. If you mean, God punish all your generation. Because if you do this, war, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. It's Nigerians that are even, I just watch Imo State and see what the guys are even dropping as they are gone, as a militant of Imo State. These guys don't even have any weapon. You feel me? They don't even have nothing. It's like they are using empty hand to fight Nigerian government. And you killing them, asking them to sit down and relax, both the Korocha and governor. You, in short, let me tell you people. Eh? Eh, eh, Nigeria, there is peace in that country. Accept it. There is no row. There is no problem. Igbos are not disturbing Nigeria. Are not disturbing Nigerian economy. The way Nigerians are disturbing the Igbos. You feel me? Um, men looking at how Buhari is trying to do this government now, he's trying to do it Hausa versus Igbo. I don't know whether Jonathan accepts himself as an Igbo man, but uh, he's a Biafran, you know. His state is also included in Biafra land. That makes him automatically an Igbo man in the face of Hausa man, you know. You will call yourself that you are, you are not an Igbo man, this and that, criticizing Igbos, even the Nigerian Reverend Fathers that are now becoming politicians following Buhari because of one thing or the other. Telling your people that God sent you. God tell you nothing. God tell you nothing. Let me tell you something. That God of Oyibo where you follow is not the God that you are worshipping. Oyibo God, not the make move. It's the sleep. It's the God of our forefathers that when you fuck up, he will kill you. You feel me? I'm not trying to get rude on this film, you know, on this video, you know, but the way things are moving in Nigeria, people are suffering. 
you can never listen to the northern Nigeria and hear that the military are killing the citizens of that state. You can't go to Yoruba or the, or the, the other part of Nigeria and hear that the military are killing the citizens of that place. No matter whatever they do, it's accepted. You feel me? The, 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 the militants that are, or the, the vigilante group that are, 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 are protecting the state where the Boko Haram are operating have indirectly integrated into Nigerian military so that they will be able to, to be receiving salary. And who is doing that in the eastern region? Who is after about these guys who has no job? These guys that are losing their work every day. The eastern region, the economy is being crippled systematically. Nobody cares for them. And you expect them to sit down and fold their arms. You know? Somebody, I, I posted a video on my, on my channel, uh, in this Facebook. Somebody who went to university read political, I mean, uh, petroleum. You know? Good. He came out. And his colleague that read um, um, Islamic religion now is a manager in an oil company in his own state. And he wants to go to the toilet inside Bush, African system of, way of, of doing things. The paper he found that he wants to use to clear his annals is now the certificate he used to apply for, for a job in an oil company where somebody who studied Islam is now the leader of oil company. Are we for real? And Nigerians, you guys are sleeping. You are crying every day that there is no job. Do you know that in Nigerian oil company, let me give you people the information now. In Nigerian oil company, <sighs> let me put it, 80% um, of workers working in Nigerian oil companies are foreigners. As field workers. We don't have job to offer to our people in Nigeria. But in Nigerian oil companies, oil firms inside Nigeria, 80% of the field workers there are foreigners. It's only 20% that are Nigerians. If you guys want peace, you should push that government to open that door so that Nigerian first before any other person. You feel me? You guys should stop sleeping. Stop fighting each other. IPO, um, um, Indigenous People of Biafra, stop dividing. Not because they just speak in Namdi today or yesterday. You guys have started dividing. Nigeria started offering you money. The way of, of Buhari offer you money to win election. After giving you that money today, are you still eating that bag of rice? Are you still, can't you people even think about your, the future of your children? Your own is gone already. Even my own is over. It's over. You feel me? But we should think about the future of our children. You know, they will pay you money. They will give you something, small change. And you will go and form a different Biafra group. For what? Betray your people. Tomorrow you will say that uh, um, um, uh, Nigeria is doing me and doing God will punish your mama and punish all your generation. Why can't you put your ass together one day and reject evil and reject bribery? Let that hunger kill you. It will kill you today, but your children won't die tomorrow. Why can't you offer yourself for the future of your children tomorrow? I'm doing this video for my people. You know, I'm not there, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to make the world to listen to hear my voice because Facebook is helping Nigerian government to limit the access of whatever that is going on in Nigeria to come outside, outside you know. You will share whatever you like in Nigeria. I will not get it upon that we are friends because of your IP address is being blocked not to share things, some certain things outside Nigeria. That is the game they are playing on you people. That's why I'm here doing this video. And if you have any video that you want to publish, you want the world to hear, Forward it to me. Look for my look for a way to get me. You will get me. You forward it to me. I will publish it because I'm noticing that they are limiting the access of Nigeria IP addresses. You know, so the the beer France should start. Don't never you give up. Don't give up. Don't give up that fight. You feel me? Never you give up about Biafra. Biafra have been existed before for three good years before they have been occupied by Nigeria. You know. What we want is Nigeria to pull out of Nigeria, uh, out of Biafra land. You know, that nation is blessed. That nation is where God answers by fire. That nation is a blessed nation. That's why the whole Africa, the whole world, hate that word. Igbo. Igbo man is a blessed child. Wherever he goes, even though you put him in a dry land, God will bless that place for him to grow. You know, I'm not against other, other tribes. Everybody, no brain is idle and no hand is uh, without a blessing. God gave you your own thing. But you guys should stop trampling on Igbos. Stop killing my people. You know, and the 
As I'm talking this thing now, Enugu State is even getting married to Hausa man every seconds of the day. We are talking about pulling out of Nigeria, pulling Biafras to go. Are we going now pulling the half of Hausa as our ogre and in laws and whatever to go back to Ibo land? Somebody who's selling and buying Kedah, the same thing Tukun Tukun is still, is still in his place. You feel me? If you want to reject, if you say that you don't want to eat a rat, stop dividing the rat with your teeth for children. You know? Enugu State, I don't know who put you in that place. You want to cut half of Enugu State and cut half of Awosa and to form a new state. Call it Adada. Ada. You know? All businessmen in Nigeria, you think that what is going on today will not affect you. If they finish with these guys on the street protesting, you are the next that they will face. And the earlier you started sponsoring these guys on the ground, is the, is the better for you tomorrow to be able to succeed as a man. Biafra will leave. <laughs> Biafra will stand. Biafra is our nation. Biafra is my country. You know, I'm full son of the soil of Biafra land. And I'm, I'm proud to be a Biafra man. Maybe I don't normally talk it always, but now I'm trying to get out of egg, you know, to tell you people I have never forget my people, but I have one idea or one idea or tips I want to give my people because Igbos normally speak in our proverbs. We said, This proverb, I was around 12 years when an old woman speak this proverb to me. And this proverb I have never ever missed from my brain. Because it means a lot. If we are chasing Biafra and it's not working out the way we want it to work, we have other options. You know? Because uh, you may say that it's, it's working like Panadol, but it's not Panadol, but it's Fensic. You feel me? Fensic works both sides, Panadol and Paracetamol. We may now start pushing Nigerian government. If you don't want to pull out of Biafra land as a nation, uh, we may bring another option. If you will accept for us to sit down to negotiate one-on-one -on -one with the government of Nigeria. As you said that Biafra divided Nigeria is the wrong thing or wrong idea and whatever is unnegotiable, but we can be able to negotiate it out. I would love Nigeria to go, or the Bia France, let us now put our ass together. Push Nigeria for democratic federalism. Go and research what is the meaning of democratic federalism. And some of us will know the meaning of that. And those that don't know the meaning of fe democratic federalism, let me explain it to you people. In a democratic federalism, we give the eastern region or every state, let me put it that way, because we are now divided, you know. If at all we, we are still one, um, as Eastern region, we will be able to be independent on our own. As a, as a United Nation, we are still United Nigeria, but as a full entity, independent of Nigerian government, we will be able to manage our resources, manage our affairs, manage everything that concerns us. You feel me? That is democratic federalism you know nigeria is practicing mili mili uh, military federalism now you know that's why um, um, um some government may trip on other junior ones and get out of it but democratic federalism is what germans are using every state in german is an independent body of the country the federal government can never um, 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 dictate for them on what to do. They will do their thing the way they want it, you know? So if Nigeria doesn't want to pull out of our country, let's negotiate. And it's my personal opinion. It's not the opinion of all Igbos or all the Biafrans, but it's my personal opinion. Let us become independent of Nigerian government indirectly so that we can only pay tax to the federal government. Every state should be paying tax to the federal government. If Nigeria passes a law, we may decide to adopt it. We may decide to reject it. If you look at the United States today, in some states, people are allowed to carry guns on the street. In some states, you are not even allowed to own a gun. In some states, you are allowed to own a gun, but it will be on your, on your safe where you will lock it. 
you know that shows you that every state is independent of the federal government you know so if we see that we don't want to go to war with nigeria or we don't want to make problems like pouring blood or something then we should push for democratic federalism in nigeria let every let every state be independent of the federal system and that thing will help our people to grow that thing will help us now to create all the whole support that we want to open will open all the whole business we want to establish in Ibo land we establish federal government and that will never have upper hand over over us again you know and no country will reject such an idea we say that Igbos are now demanding a wrong thing if you open your mouth now and mention that democratic something every foreign forces will back you up because it's part of democracy it's the same it's in, in the system of democracy that Nigerian parties in. Only that they jump the federalism of a thing so that they will still keep power or keep um, um, maneuvering over other states. So if it will work out as uh, an idea that I'm just pushing out, we may drop the um, uh, agitation that we are doing and now force Nigeria to go into federalism. And that will help us to be a great nation. And make Igbos to be what they want to be. If you come to Germany today, you will see that in Bayern, they produce cars. Those cars they produce, they only pay taxes. The state control whatever they have. So I would love such thing. I would love what I'm seeing in Germany to be able to operate in Nigeria tomorrow. Thank you, my people. God bless you. If you have anything that you would like me to discuss or if you have questions, don't write it on the comments. Send it in a personal um, a message directly so that I will be able to read it. I respond to you. If you have anything you want me to do or, or uh, in my videos, I will be able to do it. And I would like you, I like you people to um, subscribe, like, and be my friend. Send me friend um, request. I will accept you, so that uh, whenever I'm I'm doing anything live videos or whatever, you will be able to get it live immediately, and be one of the people that will be able to watch it and share it. You know. So I said, uh, long live uh, the people of Biafra, long live Igbo land, long live me, my family, and everybody. And in the Igbo, I go to the And another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to Biafra. I'm going to go to vision to go to the Igbo. i Unu bako ebunu ge emerali uno de hundred thousand uno de five hundred thousand ke unu ofonye ge du unu na abo church abo 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 unu unyo wola bi bere na ala chila ka elu ba wa jiova ye di ebu ge me bu na bali abalasa ye di ebu ge me osirim bu unu. No, no, Zuko, I don't know. I can't get out of the way. I can't get out of the way. I can't get out of the way. Cover the whole street. I don't know. We put in Allah. But what do you have? Abu D. T. Check. No, Gabriel. No, 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 no,